Hello guys, so in this video I will talk about the importance of backtesting and I will share with you my backtesting results from the last 13 years of backtesting data on the Euro and the Japanese Yen. Backtesting is extremely important and it is a crucial step for you to build your trading edge and build trading confidence. Every single consistently profitable trader has done extensive backtesting going back many, many years and you cannot skip this step. So backtesting is a crucial, crucial part in a trader's journey for every single beginning trader out there. Make sure you don't skip backtesting, make sure you thoroughly backtest, really go into extreme detail, get the data, build your trading edge and build confidence as well, because the more you backtest, the less you will lose in the live markets. So let's get onto the PC and let me share with you my statistics. Okay, so you may be wondering why did I go back 13 years? I mean, that's a lot of data, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of setups to cover. And well, I'm doing my final thesis on the subject of this trading strategy and I need to backtest at least four currency pairs on the last 10 to 13 years of data. So this was the first one. This is the Euro Japanese Yen. And this is the first currency I did for the research for that final thesis. So a question I get a lot is how far back should you go with your backtesting? And I would say as much as you can. Again, it all depends if you're a day trader, swing trader, or maybe a scalper. So if you're a day trader and you make like 10 to 15 trades per day, you may need to go back the last two or three years. And if you're a swing trader, I would recommend going back at least five years, but 10 years is kind of the optimal. 13 years, which I did here is a lot. It's a lot of work. So I would say, yeah, five years, you, you must go back at least five years. 10 years is, is the optimal as a swing trader. Let's say you're trading only the one hour chart as I am then you will get many setups you will be able to determine do you have an edge can you make money maybe some years will be negative some years will be profitable but you should get a very clear picture of your trading in those 10 years okay so here we are on the forex tester 5 software and this is what i used for the whole back test this is what i used to go back 13 years Again, TradingView does not have this much data, so if you want to go back all the way to, do, to 2003, you can use Forex Tester 5. And let's first look at the statistics for this backtest. So if you go under Windows and you click the statistics, you will get this window right here. And here we have all of the important information for this particular backtest. So just to start, I did this backtest on the Euro and the Japanese Yen only on the one hour chart starting date was the january of 2010 end date was august of 2023 i started with 100,000 euros so when you're just starting the back test you can input how big of an account you want to have and i inputted 100,000 euros i risked one percent for every single trade so as we went on as the account got bigger and bigger from the winning trades the 1% of risk actually started increasing. So it started at 1,000 euros per trade and it went all the way to almost 2,000 euros per trade in 2023. So just know that all of the returns that you see here are actually compounded returns. Okay, let's get back to our statistics. So I'll just go through the, the most important statistics. Days processed around 4,990. It's around 13 years. Total trades is around 118. Profit trades 52, loss trades 66, consecutive profit trades. So the number of trades I won in a row is four and the number of trades I lost in a row is six. Trades per month is around one, so one trade per month. Then we have the max profit trade, 20K. Max loss trade is around 2K. Then we have the net profit. So the most important number is around 94,134 euros in the last 13 years. Again, it may not sound like much, so it's around 94.1%, but for me, it is a very, very good return, especially when I know that I'm trading six currency pairs live, so this is just one of them, and I can time this number by six, and then I will get my return per year if I'm trading six currency pairs. So yeah, I'm really happy with this return, and even if you think about it, so most hedge funds make around eight or 10% profit per year S&P makes around 10 to 15 percent I believe on average every single year this amount of profit I'm really happy with on just one currency pair on the one hour chart very good okay the gross profit was 163,000 gross loss was 69,000 profit per month was around 
600 euros so that's very nice and then you have the average profit which is around 3151 average loss with which is around 1057 so the the winners are much bigger than the losers which is what you want to have again in trading it is very good to have your winners much much bigger than the losers and here they're around three times bigger than the losers the max drawdown is around 6961 again it kind of matches the consecutive losing trades but as i said as we progressed that one percent per trade became bigger and bigger as the account size got bigger and bigger so this was the max drawdown is that good i think it is i think this drawdown is very very nice again when i combine it with six currency pairs trading at the same time this drawdown may go all the way to minus 15 or minus 20 or minus 25 percent it is what it is but for one currency pair six losing trades in a row maximum that is really really nice okay then you have the profit factor 2.35 and the return which we just covered 94.1 percent in the last 13 years max lot restoration factor reliability factor again you can read all of these numbers if you want win rate is around 44 percent uh, loss probability 56 percent so this this is kind of the statistics 44% win rate and you can see 3 to 1 average risk to reward and also the sample size is around 118 trades okay so that's it for the statistics we will go through more statistics in excel a bit later but right now i want to also show you the account history window so here we have all of the trades i took in the back test again all of those 118 trades even the ones that did not get executed like these sell limit or buy limit that i deleted if the trade became invalid but you can see the first trade was a loser and actually it was on the 29th of january of 2010 so let me see if i can find uh, one nice winner i think there was one in november which i want to show you so if you just double click on the trade it will take you straight back to the trade and if i just click x to minimize the window we can now see the trade it's a really nice continuation trade prior price action was kind of trending to the upside then we saw some really nice momentum here small pullback we continue with the momentum and i got in on a nice break and retest trade the stop loss i used for every single trade was 25 pips so for every single trade one percent risk and 25 pips is the stop loss size and then we also have some other trades as well so we can see some more recent ones there was a huge trade in uh, january of 2023 which i actually took live so this was a really really nice winner after this ascending channel then we got some momentum to the downside and i got in on a nice break and retest and you can see this trade made around let's see 320 pips with a 25 pip stop loss that was around what was it around 20,587 euros of profit for this particular backtest so yeah that's it for this forex tester software it's a very good backtesting software it's a must for every single trader if you want to build your edge build confidence if you want to go back all the way to 2003 there is a lot more options you can use but what I'm using is the statistics and the account history. I also partnered up with Forex Tester as well. So if you want to download the software, if you want to buy the software, there will be a link in the description as well as a 10% discount code. So if you want to do some extensive backtesting, go and buy Forex Tester. There will be a link in the description as well as a 10% discount. Okay, so now I want to take a deeper dive into the statistics. I want to take a look at how much profit I made for every single year and also some other statistics as well. So here we have again, it was the euro and the Japanese yen. We have all of the years and we have the uncompounded return, compounded return, return in points, the stop loss in points, risk per trade, return in euros and the number of trades so the one thing i want to take a look at is first the uncompounded return and you can see it was positive almost every single year except 2019 in 2019 i made a negative return of minus 1.17 percent and you can see the combined total uncompounded return is at around 69.32 percent and the total compounded return is at around 94.13%. The biggest years were 2012 
and 2023. Rest of the years were around maybe 2 or 3% profit. Again, you have, let's say, 4.7% profit here, 5.86, 7.22. Again, in the first year, there is just 0.5% profit. But you can also see the power of compounding. So the compound return is much, much bigger than the uncompounded return. That is why I always recommend risking 1% per trade because that 1% increases over time. And you can see the stop loss was 25 pips for every single year. Number of trades, 118. What would be the average number of trades per year? Well, we can calculate it right now. We can to average and then select all of this and it's around 8.4 trades per year do keep in mind i did miss a lot of setups sometimes i did rush the back test and i did miss some really nice big winners but it is what it is i'm gonna miss trades in my live trading as well so your back testing always needs to simulate live trading you cannot go back and add that trade if you missed it so once you miss a trade it's done it's gone it's no longer in your back test and you need to move on and find another trade and here is the total statistics so just to recap we have the uncompounded return 69.32 compound return 94.13 win rate 44 percent average risk to reward is at around 2.98 which is very very nice so i just calculated it from the average profit and the average loss and then we have the risk per trade one percent and the max drawdown is at around minus six percent months processed is at around 163.95 and the total number of trades is 118 okay then you have the trades here from which i made all of the calculations and then you have the equity curve so this is the equity curve i wanted to show you so i just minimized my camera so that this is a bit easier to see you can see steady growth from 2010 all the way to 2013 and you can see the biggest years were i think it was 2012 or 2013 and 2023 and you can see these long periods of drawdown again i was in drawdown for almost a year and a half one year was even negative so the negative year was 2019 and it happens i mean that's just the reality of trading and you can see this return is not something that is massive you cannot make millions and millions from a small account from this but it's definitely something that's realistic definitely something that proves that i have an edge in the market and if i trade six or ten currencies live this return gets much much bigger because you can time this return by let's say six so this is what you can expect from trading you can expect some really good periods and you can expect some really bad periods long drawdown periods and no one who is a real trader has a straight equity curve that goes from the bottom straight to the top with one big line it is always periods of break-even trading periods of long drawdown and periods of great great success okay and the final part of the video is going to be on trading view i want to show you how much percentage would you have made on the euro japanese yen if you bought it back in january of 2010 so why are we looking at this well my professor told me for the final thesis i need to do the back testing but i also need to compare my back testing to the benchmark which would be the euro japanese yen and then if my backtesting produced greater returns than the benchmark, that means I do have an edge in the market. So we remember in the backtesting, I actually made plus 94.1% in the last 13 years. So let's see how much percentage you would have made if you bought 100,000 euros of the Euro Japanese Yen back in January of 2010. So let's grab the measuring tool let's find 2010 so it's around here this would be january and let's put it all the way to the current date so it was i believe august of 2023 that's it and you would have made around 26.2 percent profit so 26.2 percent we can write that down 26.2 percent and then what would be the difference between these two numbers it would be around 67 percent so i have managed to make 67.9 percent more from the strategy that i trade than the benchmark and that means i do have a proven edge and that means that this strategy does make some very nice profits so just to remind you guys if you want to take your trading to the next level 
don't skip the crucial step of backtesting, prove yourself that you have a trading edge, go back at least 5 to 10 years in data and you can do that using the Forex Tester software. Again, link will be in the description. 10% discount code is in the description as well. And that will be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you took some value. So if you're interested in a 12-week mentorship program, there is a link in the description to my website. I offer a 12-week mentorship program as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one.